Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Coach Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every week. doesn't matter who you're betting on or what sport you're betting on. We have you covered. Before we get into Major League Baseball for April the 25th, I want to remind you again to join our VIP club section. You will have all the great access to all these tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games for the end of the first month of the Major League Baseball season. Hold that through here. One A's and Baltimore Orioles. We're not going to take a look at all of them. We're going to take a look at five different matchups. And the first one we want to look at is the New York Yankees and the Cleveland Indians. The two teams in the AL meet this weekend in what should be a great matchup. The Yankees are ice cold down at the moment and are just 6 and 11 on the season. Cleveland is burning hot right now. They are 8 and 8 on the season. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will notice that Cleveland is at plus 22 and the Yankees are at plus 5. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, the two teams have not yet met this season. If you're considering the over and under, you can see that the Yankees are playing in games trending slightly under the line. The Indians are playing in games under the line as well. I want to see how stable the two teams have been performing this year according to their favorite underdog status. You can see both are performing very consistently in that regard, with the Indians at plus 15, the Yankees at plus 12. And take a look at the picture profit oscillator. You can see that we do not know anything here because the two stars have not yet been named for this game. One thing you want to take a look at, though, is the Z Code scores predictor. It'll give you a good indication about what we think is going to happen with this matchup. So if you scroll down through here, we will see the Yankees and the Indians. We we're predicting a first inning score of the Yankees ahead 2-0. But at the end, we we're predicting the Indians to come away with a win of 5-3 with a 67% confidence. So that means we will go with the Indians in this one. Mariners and the Red Sox. Blue Jays and Rays. Nationals and the Mets. This will be a good National League Eastern Division matchup. You see that the Nationals right now are ice cold up and the Mets are burning hot. Tejon Walker is scheduled to start with the Mets. He has an ERA of 3.21 and his own one on the season. Patrick Corbin with a very high 10.95 ERA and an 0-2 record is scheduled to start for the Nationals. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that the two teams have not yet met this season. You know, you take a look at the power ranking indicator. The Mets are at plus 23. The Nationals are at plus 14. You see that there's a little bit of a trend in opposite directions as far as that goes. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you will see that we have under so far for Washington. And the Mets are way under the line. Take a look at that. Take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator. You will see a wide disparity here. Look at this. Tejon Walker has been an excellent bet at plus 2,085. And Corbin has been a terrible bet at minus 389. If you look at the scores predictor, you will see something very similar to what we think is going to happen. First thing in prediction is the Nationals getting off to an early start, but then it will be all Mets from there. We're running away with it by a 9-1 to score with a confidence of 65%. So. The Mets are hot. Pitching matchup favors them. Let's go with the Mets to win the ball game and cover the spread. Arizona and Atlanta. We're not taking a look at that one. The Angels and the Astros. Oh, the Astros, how far they have fallen. The nearly once unbeatable Astros are currently in last in the American League West. And the Angels are in third. You can see right now the Angels are averaged down. And as far as the power ranking indicator goes, they have a plus 17 to 0 advantage in that category and you can see the Astros are dead status on the mound for the Angels is scheduled to be Dylan Bundy he is 0-2 with a 4.50 ERA and Lance McCullers Jr. is set to take the ball for the Astros he is 1-1 with a 5.27 ERA if you want to take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator how good of bets have these two pitchers have been you can see McCullers is at minus 300 he's been a poor bet 
Bundy has been even a worse bet at minus 1,264. So take that in consideration when making your picks. Head-to-head -head matchup, the two teams have played this season, and they have split. The Angels winning one by a 7-6 score as a home favorite, and they lost one as a slight home favorite by a 4-2 score. Looking at the scores predictor here, for this game, we can see that we have a 6-3 final score prediction here for the Angels with a 1-0 Astros lead after the 1. But you notice here the confidence is under 50% at just 41.98. So take that with a grain of salt and before you actually go with that to make your pick. But I do think, though, that because the Astros are playing so poorly and the Angels have been a better team so far this year, that you can go with that pick and go with the Angels to win ball game. The Pittsburgh Pirates and Minnesota Twins. We will not take a look at that one. The Rangers and the White Sox. Reds and Cardinals. You can see there's so many different games here. This weekend here is going to be a good matchup. The Brewers and the Cubs battling it out in the National East Central. The Brewers head into play with a plus 24 rating on the power ranking indicator and the Cubs are at plus 19. But you see both, were, both are on an upward trend. You see that the Brewers were at plus 13 just a few days ago, and the Cubs were just at plus 8 a few days ago. Cubs are ice cold down at the moment because you can see they have lost their last two and three out of their last four, and the Brewers average up, and you can see what they have done lately. They have won their last three and four out of their last six. Head-to-head -head play, the Brewers won two out of three, uh, 12th, 13th, and 14th, and... The Cubs, and they also won two out of three, the fifth, sixth, and seventh. So they have, these two teams have met an awful lot already this season, and we're just early going. So if you look at the pitchers, uh, so far the Cubs have not named their starter, but the Brewers have named Brandon Woodruff to start. He has a 1.96 ERA and has won an O so far this season. I want to see how well he has performed as far as how, what kind of bet he's been on the pitcher profit officer. Look at this. He's been a very strong bet at Plus twelve hundred forty dollars. It's a good indication to go with him and the Brewers. But let's see what this scores predictor shows us. Our scores predictor is showing the Brewers getting off to a slow start with the Cubs ahead two nothing after the first, but an eight to five win predicted for the Brewers with a sixty nine percent confidence, pretty good confidence level right there. So what you should do now in this one is bet the Brewers and go with the over. Phillies and the Rockies, Marlins and the Giants. And here is the last game we want to look at for this week. It is the Padres and the Dodgers. The Dodgers are clearly the team to beat in the National League West again. They have the top record, and the Padres have slumped a little bit, and they are currently third. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Dodgers are at plus 17, and the Padres are way down at plus 3. Right now, the Dodgers are burning hot. They have won, let's see what they've done lately. They have won five out of their last six, coming off a one nothing win against Seattle. And look at the Padres, they have struggled. They have lost five in a row and five out of their last six. And those two of those losses were to the Dodgers, April 16th and 17th, by scores of 11-6 and two to nothing. Considering the over and under, you can see here the Padres are playing in games under the line. And so are the Dodgers under the line. Pitcher profit oscillator. You can see that Dustin May, who scheduled the pitch for the Dodgers, is at plus 205. Joe Musgrove has been a poor bet at minus 1,274. As far as what they have done so far this season, Musgrove is, is 2 and 2 with a very fine 1.04 ERA, and May is 1 and 1 with a 2.93 ERA. Let's look at the scores predictor. Padres predicted to get off to a 2 0 start. With the final score prediction of Dodgers 8 to 3. You can see, though, the confidence in this is only 40%. But it, I actually would say it would not surprise me to see the Dodgers win by that margin. I don't know if it's going to be as high of a scoring game with both pitchers pitching well. But the Dodgers are clearly the team to beat. They're the better team. Go with the Dodgers to win and cover the spread. So there you have it. Those are the games for April 25th in Major League Baseball. Enjoy, and we will see you next time.